Hello again, everyone. Coming back at you from quabinreservoir.net, as well as the Quabin Reservoir Info YouTube channel. And um, <clears throat> basically, a couple things I wanted to do here was quickly give you another introduction to the blog site and some of the things you can find there. Um, but more importantly, to point out one particular resource you can get there, uh, which many of you may find find. Uh, uh, very insightful, very useful, especially if you're a fisherman who cruises Quabbin's uh, waters in search of oh, all the different species of fish that live there, the various members of the trout family, lake trout, rainbow trout, brown trout, brook trout, landlocked salmon, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, oh, and the list goes on and on and on. Okay, um, And that mainly is the bathymetric map for the lake that was derived from a data set prepared by the state of Massachusetts, but I'll get back to that in a moment. So again, here is the blog site, uh, Quabbin Reservoir. And as most sites, there are a number of posts as we uh, filter down here. I'm in the process of setting up a podcast so you can come in and listen to it. Another way to go in and uh, listen, to, listen to the content as opposed to just read it. Uh, and then here is the exact post I'm going to be talking about more specifically in a moment. <clears throat> Excuse me, in a moment, that is re relative to the Quabbin Reservoir 10-foot bathymetric map. And the fact that you can go to this site and gain access to a copy of that map, and I'll tell you uh, more about that in a moment. There's also some other uh, other useful information on various uh, things relative to fishing, um, what astro tables are about, sonar tables, and all that. Uh, different features on fishing, uh, quab and reservoir, things about rock piles and different techniques, and so forth and so on. And there's just a host of posts that are already on the site and will continue to populate this site as time moves forward. And as I also mentioned a little bit ago, or my previous video, the first introductory video, you can also come to this site and grab a copy of a free fishing diary that is basically stated here to be a bass fishing log with some tips, but you know you can use it for actually uh, creating a uh, journal, if you will, of any of your fishing endeavors, no matter what you happen to fish for. Okay, so come back to this in a moment, but what are we talking about when I talk about the bathymetric map? Now it just so happens that when the reservoir was was constructed, like I said, you know, well actually the construction period dates back more than three quarters of a century. Uh, there were crews that went out from the city of Boston to prepare the area that is now inundated uh, to be flooded. So they had to move towns, move roads, so forth and so on. And one of the things all these engineering crews did is they did detailed surveys of the land surface um, in order to, you know, help with the construction of this resource. And over the last decade or so, people at the uh, state's Department of Conservation and Recreation, specifically their water supply division, or water supply office, actually went in and compiled that data, created a digital form of it that could then be used to generate this thing here, which is basically the bathymetric map. Okay, A bathymetric map, another way to think of this, is a contour map, but rather than thinking about things sticking above the land surface, this is the contours that exist now under the water as it exists uh, out there today. Okay, So the, the map that you can actually go out and obtain from the QuabbinReservoir.net website is a version of this. Now this is a about a 10% view of that map. This map, in reality, I mean, if you wanted to download it and take it to a printer, you better find somebody that has a large format printer because it's about uh, 30 inches wide by 40 inches long. But, you know, <clears throat> when you do get this down to full uh, detail, you know, the actual size, even on the computer screen, you know, you can still scroll around and actually see in detail what the subsurface contours look uh, look like throughout the uh, the whole lake region, and again, where can you access this? Well, if you come back to the Quabbin Reservoir dot <clears throat> net website, it is currently the second post that is on the web page, Quabbin Reservoir Ten Foot Bathymetric Map. But as always, there'll be links over in the sidebar that you can find this, so that you can locate and download it. Um, this actually goes back to the data set where the data was derived from. 
then we actually went in and created this map that you can download. And, um, oops, this isn't showing the whole post. Hold on for a minute. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Now they have the whole post open. When you come into this, there is actually a link in here where you can go in and download uh, a zip file. If you just click on the image directly, that if you unzip it, will have that full uh, 1 to 32,000 scale bathymetric map of Coab and Reservoir so that you can go in and study the lake contours and help prepare for your next fishing trip. Again, one of the resources that is currently available at coabinreservoirs.net, and as I mentioned, there'll be more forthcoming in the future. Have a great day.